Hello, my beautiful people, you welcome back. There has been many controversies about the religion of this popular Nollywood actor, as many people always say that he is a Muslim or no, he is a Christian or no, he is a uh, herbalist, as he always portray herbalist in every of his Yoruba movies, and this has made people so, to have the thought or beliefs that he is truly an Ifa worshipper or probably a true herbalist to the core. And to the shocking of many, the actor has finally come out to clear the doubts of many people and also of his fans that are interested in knowing more about him. What is the shocking story that the actor tells? Not only that, the actor reveals his true beliefs or who he worships, but also go into details about his regrets in life and also since the time he started in the Yoruba Nollywood. So guys, if you are joining our channel for the first time, we want to welcome you and we appreciate you greatly and we urge you to please click on the red subscribe button and also add the notification bell beside it. The veteran actor Adewale Alebiushu is a familiar face in the Nigerian movie industry and he is widely known and celebrated for the unique way he delivers his role as a herbalist in a movies. And the Ogun State movie producer, in an interview, shares his experience as a popular face in the industry without a car, as well as his career as an actor. And from the excerpts from the interview, he further reveals his background and also his growing up and as well as educational background. As he says that he is Awolojo Ololukbeno, the real Ifa Olokun, those who are his lovers. As he says that those who are my lovers who watch my movies well know me and know that it and they know that this is my slang as he hails from Abel Kuta and grew up there too. He said he attended a primary school in Owode issue and after that the actor said he proceeded to Egba Owode Grammar School and then he went to KB State to further his education but he said though KB did not work out for him well so because there was some crisis there at that time so he had to opt out and talking further on how he joined the industry which is part of what interests his fans to know more he said it has been he has been in the industry for quite a while when he was um in the he was still in school as he would go to rehearsals and return then later when he left school he finally joined the industry fully I went to Agege and Agege was where he met his boss, Taiwo Balogun, back then in 1979. And this he said the man by Taiwo Balogun was a comic actor and he was with him for some time. Then he told Taiwo Balogun that he would love to learn how to act the traditional way. And this he told him that this hat you want to do is not an easy task to play and this it entails a lot of things. And he said it was after that he joined Patai at Detayo who is popularly known and called Lalude and then he was still living in Waja in Lagos State and it was with him that he learned how to hack the traditional way of chanting incantations and hold that until now that God has now decided to show him to the world which is now made him popular. And now talking about how he was able to carve a niche for himself in the industry, especially with the kind of role he was known for. He said whatever one has a passion for, one would put all his all into it. And apart from the fact that he was trained under Lalude, he did something amazing to himself and which made him to be very proud of himself by doing a lot of research personally and also he went ahead to meet those herbalists he knew and native doctors and asked them about some of the things that are not that clear to him and that were not being taught by Lalude and all because he wanted his acting career to be perfect that even when the real herbalists watch him watch his movie they would attest 
to the fact that all these incantations in heart are perfect. And saying that, asking him how he got some moments outside acting where people relate with him and his family in real life because they used to see him play the role of a native doctor every time in the movies. And his response was that, wow, he got a lot. He got that a lot as some people would see him on the streets on a normal day and ask if he was actually a real herbalist and he would also reply to them that he is not. But this has made many of them not to believe him. And he further said that this was part of what made him to come online to clear the doubts of many people and also to change the narrative they have about him by saying that he came from a Muslim background but now he is a Christian and also do go to church. Wow. And now he's talking about his regrets which is part of the main thing that he has faced in his acting career since he joined the Nollywood industry. And revealing this he says this is part of this is this aspect is one thing that always make him regret or also want to quit acting as he saddens him some of the times. And he, in replying to it he says he wouldn't lie at all as he think about this once in a while. And there are times people would invite him to their events for special appearances and when it is time for him to go, they, he would go there in a cab or, also, or in a bike because he doesn't have a car. So when he got there, people would start asking him why he didn't come in his car, why this and why that. So looking back, he would say this makes him sometimes regret ever venturing into acting because even those who he trained, some of them now have two to three cars. And sometimes he think about quitting to start another career, but looking at his age and how he feels, he says it is too late for him to make the decision now. So the passion and the hope that one day everything will change and it will be like a dream to him are part of the things that has kept him going and still going. And you know, there, are, there can be a bad moment without a good moment. Now telling about his happiest moments as an actor, he said the first moment or the happiest moment of his life was when the actor, the popular Nollywood actor Odunade Adekola invited him to participate in one of his production. And he said the day the actor called him, he was so much filled with joy and said wow, he called me to invite me to his movie as Odunade says that he loves his style and would like to have him in his movie and he says that day he was very happy because he felt it was a great deal for him for Odu to call him to participate in his movie as he says that acting is though profitable but just like every other career without support in one way or the other it can be frustrating too so now he says that if he can change a thing about the Nigerian movie industry, what would it be? He said, firstly, the, the, our leaders are one of our problems. I says that there are some times that that should be attended to in this industry, but most of these leaders are just treating the issues with I don't care attitude. And once they are okay, they don't mind what is happening to others. And this shouldn't be so. For example, this issue we have with our marketers is something that is really giving them serious concern. As sometimes they take their movie to these marketers and the proceed you get the proceed you get from it might not even be up to the production cost. And also these marketers sometimes unite against a particular producer and tell each other not to take a project from a particular producer who has offended one of them and they would succeed in doing this because they are united. So their leaders too ought to imbibe this kind of culture too so also that they can be able to achieve a lot of feast for their members. So he just said that let him just leave this matter at this junction like this for now. So guys, there is all you need to know about the popular Nollywood hat tour at Diwali Ali Beauty. So guys, don't forget to click on the red subscribe button and also add the notification. Stay safe. Peace out. <laughs> Adagiri, giri, 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 gi